we're starting off at the Trident Grill on deck 14. It's right next to the pool. It's a great place to grab lunch. They've got pulled pork sandwiches, chicken sandwiches, burgers, tacos, fries, cheese fries, bacon cheese fries. You name it, it's got great food. You can come here just about any time. Grab yourself a bite to eat if you don't want to go to the buffet. Here is the chicken sandwich. It gets served hot. It's got nice spices on it. They cook it right in front of you. Fries on the side, a little bit of mayo, tomato and cucumber. What a great meal. This is the pulled pork sandwich. I really like this. It had coleslaw on the top to add a nice crunch. The pulled pork was nice and sweet. I got this several times on our cruise. Here's the only thing I didn't like at the Trident Grill. This is the tacos. The, the tortillas were kind of dry. The filling was kind of boring. Just wasn't really my cup of tea. And I love tacos. So that was a little bit of a disappointment. This is the cheese dog, a hot dog with melted cheese, uh, diced onions, pickle relish on top. At the Trident Grill, they really loaded up. Maybe a bit too much in my opinion, but it was a decent hot dog. Hey, I saved the best for last. This is the Trident Grill Bacon Cheeseburger. Look at all that bacon. The cheese, they would load it up for you. Came with some tomatoes and lettuce, cheese fries with bacon on the side, some ketchup and mayo. This is why when you get off the cruise ship, you may have gained a couple of pounds, but hey, it's worth it in the moment. It's super delicious. This is a piece of Hawaiian pizza on the Sapphire Princess from Prego's Pizza. It's the only free pizza you can get on Princess Cruises anymore. And you know what? It absolutely blew away my expectations. It's really, really delicious pizza. The crust is thin, the toppings are delicious, and it's always served hot. And here is the legendary Alfredo's Pizza. Nowadays, you gotta pay $8.50 if you wanna pick it up or have it delivered to your room, or $15 a piece if you wanna go eat it in the restaurant. I'll tell you what though, I was reluctant to pay, but I had to try it, and it is a really, really good pizza. It's better than Prego's, and Prego's is good. So, I don't know, it, it was worth it. It's too bad that they had to uh, start charging for it, but man, it's a good piece of pizza. Just ask Emily. That's a good pizza. Exactly. Pizza on Princess Cruises is a win. We are getting ready to go to formal night at the Pacific Moon on the Princess Sapphire. The reservations for seven were a little bit late, but I believe there's gonna be lobster on the menu tonight. Can't wait. For our starter, we had the lychee and watermelon with infused syrup. And for the main, of course, we had the broiled lobster tail and the Chateau Briand of beef tenderloin. Here is that starter, the watermelon and lychee paired so well together, fresh mint leaf on top, nice light way to start our meal. Here is the main course, the lobster tail with a nice little butter glaze on top, crab cakes on the side. There is some uh, mushroom nachi that we split. It was delicious. The lobster tail was fabulous. And check this out on the back of the screen. The waiter came over and took the meat of the lobster tail out for you. This is the beef tenderloin with Bernays sauce. And then there's that brown gravy on the side. You put that beef tenderloin in that gravy, it melted in your mouth. Absolutely delicious. And to end it, of course, we had to try the classic Cherries Jubilee. Sweet and delicious, perfect into our formal night. Alright, we are on to the International Cafe. This was one of our favorite places on the ship. It was right by our room, so we were able to come over here, grab what we wanted, and bring it back to our room. Super convenient. Uh, they had a great selection, and it is one of the few places on the ship that you can get food at no extra charge, with the exception of those giant cakes on the bottom there. The dessert selection was always really stocked. They had fruit desserts, chocolate desserts, nut desserts like almond, cream desserts. It changed from day to day, so there was a different selection. It was really good. We liked the desserts better than main dining or the buffet. The fruit was always there for the healthy people, and of course, 
The sandwiches were spot on. They always had egg salad. They had tuna salad. They had curry pies that were really good. They had cold cut sandwiches. A great selection. You could come here 24 hours a day. Some other ships we've been on, they don't have 24 hour a day food options. It was always nice to know that you could get something to eat. Well, that was lunch. Here is breakfast. Breakfast was served from early morning until about 11 a.m. Uh, they had a very nice selection of sweet and savory and hot and cold items. Uh, we were really close, so it was convenient to go here, and we preferred this rather than fighting the crowds at the buffet. I never would have thought of this. Radishes and hard-boiled eggs on avocado and wheat bread. What an amazing combination. I got this almost every day. And here is officially my new favorite uh, pastry, the Queen Amon. It's a French pastry with cream cheese and fruit filling. Never had it before and it was amazing. Next to it is the pizza muffin, a famous pizza muffin on Princess Cruises. This thing is a pizza wrapped up in a muffin. You bite into it, there's pepperoni and cheese. There's grease that kind of squirts into your mouth. It is a really, really tasty muffin. Don't know why it's at breakfast and not lunch, but there you go. This is the breakfast burrito and egg muffin. The burrito had sausage and cheese. The muffin had ham on it. They were both absolutely delicious. I got these on a regular basis and loved them. And here is a cinnamon roll, which was honestly just okay, and a yogurt and granola parfait. I have yogurt every morning at home and it was nice to be able to keep up my routine while we were on the cruise ship. We just got back to our room from our first formal lunch at the international dining room where you sit down and you're seated with other people. Yeah, that's right. It was actually a really popular event. So we were given the option to wait. It seemed like probably quite a bit of time for a private table, but we just decided to go ahead and sit with some of our fellow passengers and maybe make a few friends and be able to eat right away. So. Um, it was pretty nice. When we were handed the menu, there were lots of choices on there. They all looked delicious. Uh, I decided to start with the summer roll, which was like a spring roll, but I guess a little bit more summer. It was a wrap served in a rice paper with some fresh veggies and some peanut sauce served on the side. I thought it was okay. The rice paper was a little bit on the tough side and the veggies were fresh, but they didn't have much flavoring to them. And honestly, the peanut sauce tasted like it was just kind of melted peanut butter, but it wasn't bad. And I started with the Thai spring rolls, which are a deep fried Thai egg roll kind of thing. When I think of spring rolls, I think of the rice paper, but these were called Thai spring rolls and they were deep fried. So I don't know how it works, but uh, they were actually really good. Mostly anything that's deep fried is going to be pretty tasty, but these were, they, they were excellent. They had shrimp and vegetables on the inside, and it was also served with the peanut sauce, which really wasn't the best peanut sauce I've ever had in my life. And it did taste a lot like melted peanut butter, uh, I agree, but it was actually really tasty. So next up we had our main course, and I continued on with the Asian theme, and I had the Thai green curry with pork. So we had spent three months in Southeast Asia, and we had eaten a lot of Thai food. I was really looking forward to this because when we were in Thailand, the green curry was my favorite curry. This curry was pretty good. It was not authentic to what we had as green curry in Thailand. That curry was served with some eggplants and it had a little bit different spices. The curry here on the Sapphire Princess, it was pretty good. The pork was very flavorful and tender. There were definitely some mushrooms, some zucchini, and I believe some bok choy in there. Overall, it was really good. Uh, it wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it was really tasty and I, I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I went with a pretty traditional meal. I love a good hamburger, and they had something called the Princess Signature Hamburger. It had a special sauce on it, um, some tomato, and a couple other vegetables. I was really just in the mood for a good burger, so even though it was kind of a formal setting, it sounded like a good choice to me. Uh, it got to the table and it looked absolutely fantastic. I thought it was just going to be an amazing hamburger. But uh, the sauce that they put on it was full of sugar. And I've had this happen to me before. I just don't think sugary sauces, uh, you know, ketchup is kind of sugary, but this is like way beyond ketchup. It just tasted really, really sweet. And I just don't like a sweet flavor with my hamburger. 
So I had somewhat enjoyed it, but it was a, kind of a disappointing hamburger to be completely honest, just because of that sweetness. Otherwise it would have been really good. I ate most of it, but actually didn't even finish the hamburger. Luckily I did order on the side some uh, princess macaroni and cheese. I was in the mood for just kind of a basic meal today, I guess. And Emily and I shared that. It was it was tasty mac and cheese. What kind of cheese did you say you thought it was made I think from? I saw on the menu that it was camembert cheese. It was very creamy. Yeah. It was very creamy. It had some paprika on top. That was a good part of the meal for me. And I decided to go with dessert. So I saw they had a chocolate torte on the menu. I, I asked for that. It was really good. It At first, my first bite, honestly, I wasn't super impressed. But then the second bite, I was like, wow, this is good. And I, I ate all of it. It was very nice dark chocolate. It wasn't the super sweet high in sugar cakes that I've had on some of the other places. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I'm fan of dark chocolate. Uh, this, this one tasted really good. So there you go, our first formal lunch on the Sapphire Princess. Well, to end this video on a sweet note, we're going to show you the giant cakes that they have in the International Cafe. We have been looking at these for our whole cruise, and on our last day, we decided we had to try some. They cost an extra $4.50 per slice, but it was well worth it. We ordered the Black Force cake and the chocolate cake. There's the Black Force cake. It's a chocolate base with a creamy cherry filling. That chocolate cake was a real winner. It had a dense chocolate cake covered in creamy chocolatey frosting. It was so delicious, and I definitely ate more than my fair share. Hey, you made it all the way to the end of this video. That means you liked it. So why not hit that like button? Why not hit that subscribe button? We're going to be talking about our experience in Santiago, Chile pretty soon. We're going to be going to Brazil. We're going to be going to Peru. We're going to be doing more cruises. We're going to be making great videos. Hit that like and subscribe, and hopefully we will see you soon.